Hello, Adam Drummond here from Wagga Wagga TV, and we're on location today down at the Wagga Wagga Beach, a historic location. It goes right back to when Wagga Wagga was settled, and very excited because we've got a grand plan in front of us, and I'm joined by someone from Wagga Wagga City Council to explain what's happening down in this river precinct. It's Robert Sharp. Rob, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for having me. Now, what's your title now? You've got a new role down at Wagga so, City Council. What are you? Yeah, I'm the strategic officer for the commercial and economic development departments, and one of my roles is to, you know, get some of these projects to come to life. Great. And uh, here at the Wagga Beach, obviously we were talking just a moment ago about some of the old photos, and I think a lot of people will remember photos of their parents back in the 50s and 60s. Everyone used to come down here to cool off. Today, 43 degrees, we've got people in the background as well. But part of your plan is to rejuvenate and, and bring back the masses to what was a very popular spot in Wagga Wagga. Yeah, that's right, Adam. The, the whole concept behind this master plan is, I guess, to reactivate the beach area. So, you know, the Wagga Beach is, as you said, a very historic site. You know, I used to come down here when I was a young bloke to go swimming, use the water whiz and things like that. Yep. So, you know, it's got a lot of significance for, for me as well as the community. And I think that's what it's all about. It's bringing people back to this area. Now, a lot of things happening uh, on this site plan that we're referring to. Yep. But you just mentioned the Wagga whiz, which we all loved, and the trampolines that were in the ground. Are they coming back? No, not at this stage, Adam, unfortunately. We don't have that allocated in the budget at this stage, but I think we've got some great ideas and great concepts that are really going to uh, get the community excited. Let's talk about stage one, because stage one uh, development tenders are about to go out. Uh, what, what's going on in stage one? What can people expect to see starting to happen around town here at the Wagga Beach? So stage one, Adam, is pretty much uh, to do with the landscaping down here through the beach precinct. So what we're, we're working on is what we call the bend, and it's actually the area that runs pretty much from the old uh, Waterwiz car park, or the Wagga Beach car park, right the way through to the rocks and the river in a playhouse. So we're talking about that whole area. One of the major concepts behind this plan is actually all about spreading the load just from this away from just this one area right here in front of the old uh, canoe shed here at the beach and actively reactivating all of this area right down to the rocks. Okay, so as part of the landscaping, will there be any other infrastructure put up? Like uh, I've heard rumours that there's going to be cafes and markets and that sort of thing. Will that happen in stage one or is that down the track? That's probably down the track in stage two, Adam. Uh, the hard landscaping that we're going to be doing in stage one is more around um, creating some uh, barbecue areas, additional barbecue areas and picnic nodes um, for the people of Wagga to be able to use this site moving forward for stage two when it comes online. Okay, great. And, and one of the most popular things in a, a lot of destinations around Australia where there's water, uh, some of those water parks that you see so often, is there at any point um, in one of these stages something like that popping up? It's definitely something that we've thought about for stage two, Adam, um, is activating um, a bit of a water-themed playground or water park as part of our regional playground that's going to go into stage two. Okay, well it sounds great and it's something that I'm sure a lot of families will be excited about because you'll be able to come down here and walk at all, all times of the day and night. Um, what sort of, if you do have these cafes popping up in stage two, a lot of people are probably concerned about the fact that this river rises to sometimes scary heights. What happens if there is a flood? That's a great question, Adam. One of the things in designing this plan, we've really thought about the impact of flooding and what, what the damage it can cause. Um, all of the ideas and concepts have been thought about with flooding in mind, you know. All of our barbecues will be designed to be, you know, pulled out prior to a flood happening. Our barbecue shelters will be designed to withstand a flood so water can flow through them. Um, for the, the, I guess, pop-up cafe precinct that we've thought about, one of the concepts that we're looking at is the use of shipping containers or repurposed shipping containers. Okay. Open up the side of them, put some chairs at them, you've got a little cafe ready to go. In the situation of a flood, we drive a truck in, we put it on the back of a truck and we drive it out, so isn't going to get impacted. Well, that's uh, very smart thinking and uh, something else that I know a lot of people, particularly our tourists who have never been to Wagga Wagga before, they'll be concerned, will the Wagga Wagga wave still be around at five o'clock? Well, I think we all know that the old uh, five o'clock wave's a bit of a myth, Adam. I've stood <laughs> down there waiting for the five o'clock wave and I've yet to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else that you'd like to discuss? I mean, Council are obviously um, pouring a lot of money into this. What, what exactly is the budget for Stage 1? For Stage 1, uh, Council's allocated uh, about 650000 We also have a State Government grant of about 350000 to add to that. So we're looking at around a million dollars for the, for the landscaping on Stage 1. Very exciting. And when can we see um, work starting around the, the beach precinct? 
Well, we're currently just going finalising the planning stage. Yep. Um, we'll be working at getting some tender documentation ready to put that out to the market to look for a contractor to do all these works. Yep. And then probably, you know, around April, May, we'll start seeing some hard works on site. Terrific. Well, mate, thanks very much for coming on Wagga Wagga TV and explaining to the community exactly what's happening down here at this popular site. That's Rob Sharp from Wagga Wagga City Council. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Adam. Good it's help. Adam Drummond here from Wagga Wagga TV. It's the online TV show all about people, places and property brought to you by Livestream Australia and Wagga Wagga Web. See you next time. Yeah.